everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the channel where I share everything about our Malaysia's real estate news trends, including new property launches sometimes. And of course, of late, I've also included cafes and food review in Penang. If you guys happen to be wondering why is it that of late I have been filming my video uh, in this uh, background instead of my regular uh, workplace this is because uh, lately our Malaysia has entered back into CMCO with effect from the 9th of November about two days ago and it will be uh, for the whole period of one month so during CMCO means all school will be closed so that means that my daughter is not going to school so that also means that I will not be able to do my recording at my usual place otherwise <laughs> It will not be so conducive because she will be watching YouTube most of the time, you know. So there will be a lot of noise at the background. So that means probably for this next one month, I will be doing my recording solely in this room here. So lately, our finance minister has just announced Malaysia's budget 2021. So over here, I would like to share with everyone what are the four top incentives which every Malaysian house buyer should know. Okay, so uh, as usual, before I dive into the full details, I would appreciate for an early thumbs up as I do put in quite a lot of effort in making up this video and it also helped me in growing this channel. Appreciate much. I appreciate you. So what are the four top incentives every Malaysian house buyer uh, should know under the budget 2021 which was uh, recently announced in I think 6th of November 2020 So the top one real estate incentive under budget 2021 is there will be full stamp duty waivers given to first home buyers who sign the SBA sales and purchase agreement within 1st January 2021 which is next year for the next 5 years ending December 2025 and this stamp duty exemption is uh, applicable both to the memorandum of transfer and also on your loan agreement for properties which you buy from the secondary market but the price must not exceed a ringgit Malaysia 500,000 and if you were to ask what about if I were to buy directly from developer which is from the primary market so if you were to buy directly from the primary market there will also be stamp duty assumption given where it is specified under the HOC campaign which is home ownership campaign which will continue to run until next year 2021 so if you happen to belong to the first home buyer category so now is an opportune time for you to go and shop for your properties be it you want to buy from the subsidy market or from the primary market you will get to enjoy stamp duty waivers for both MOT and also on your loan agreement for properties maximum price up to 500,000 ringgit Malaysia and that will work out to a savings of total ringgit Malaysia 11,250 wow that's a great savings right so the second real estate incentive which you should know is rent to own scheme the government plans to start a rent to own scheme which will involve up to 5,000 of Prima One houses which is applicable uh, to a uh, first home buyer as well this scheme is very suitable for young uh, working professional who have just come up to work and they are still building up on their credit score in order to qualify for the home loan so with this scheme they can actually rent uh, the home first through developer uh, probably for a period of 5 years to 30 years the end goal in mind that they have the option to buy this property eventually from the developer if they choose to at a pre-agreed price of course uh, I read that there are some uh, rent to own scheme where the developer will actually charge a certain option fees to the uh, renters who plan to exercise to buy up this property eventually when the rental uh, period uh, expires and one thing to note under RTO scheme typically the rental rate will be slightly higher than the normal market rate because uh, they will actually take portion of the rental that you paid to them to the developer usually to pay off for your future uh, pricing of the house if you uh, plan to buy it from them eventually once your RTO scheme expires so some love this scheme because uh, the beauty of it is that you get to lock in the purchase price of this property up front when you uh, enter into the RTO scheme with this developer. The full details of Prima 1 RTO scheme has yet to be released but it will also work based on the concept of RTO where there will be a lease 
to purchase option agreement between the buyer and also the developer. So the third incentive will be concerning abandoned project. There will be a stamp duty waivers given to the buyers of abandoned project and also to the white knight or means the developers who will come and rescue the abandoned project they will be given the stamp duty waivers both on the uh, memorandum of transfer and also on the loan agreement this exemption is effective for loan agreements and SPA signed uh, from the time period of January 2021 until December 2025 but it must be abandoned project which is certified by the housing ministry this stamp duty discount given to the developers is aimed at spurring new developers to take on this half completed project which has been abandoned so that it can speed up the uh, completion of this said abandoned project and the final real estate incentive under budget 2021 is there will be more home built for lower income group which is classified under B40 according to the budget 2021 our government is going to allocate up to ringgit Malaysia 1.2 billion into building housing for lower income group B40 in order to increase home ownership among this group and of course not forgetting that under the uh, e-safe scheme our government is also going to give up uh, e-rebate of up to a ringgit Malaysia $200 uh. if you were to buy a locally made um, energy saving aircon and refrigerator with effect from next year 2021 uh, maybe you think that this is not a big deal but to me is that every home buyer in Malaysia usually we will need to install aircon especially for Malaysia's weather so that's it these are the four real estate incentives being announced under our budget 2021 recently so if you find value in this video I appreciate a thumbs up from you and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel and you enjoy watching the video of this channel then you may want to consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell I upload my new video video on a weekly basis so thank you for watching until the end and as usual be aggressive in learning but be safe in investing bye bye and see you soon